darkness. You open your eyes and see a bright light. Silhouettes of people seem to be flashing around. Your eyes get used to the light and you look around. You're in a hospital. Doctors in white protective suits and gas masks are standing around you. How do you feel? One of them asks. You don't remember what happened. You scratch your head and hear a strange scraping sound. You look at your palm. It's made of glass. Your whole body is covered with glass. The doctors say there was an accident, but you don't remember anything. You get out of bed and notice the whole floor is covered with a thick layer of fluff. This is necessary to save you from breaking your skin against the hard floor. It's difficult for you to move around. You feel fragile. Any contact with objects leaves scratches on your body, and they burn. Doctors offer you some mashed potatoes, but you aren't hungry. You want to know what's going on and why all the people here are wearing gas masks. They say you accidentally got to the landfill, where scientists were carrying out tests with sand, fire, and radiation. For some reason, you managed to enter the testing ground, and your body has changed. Everyone in the building is wearing gas masks and protective suits, since any kind of contact with you can be dangerous. Now you're in a special institution. Scientists and doctors from all over the world are going to study you. You just want to go home and see your parents and friends. The doctor says it's impossible now. You need to be examined so that they can figure out the potential of your abilities. Everything will be fine, he adds, but his voice sounds strange. They find out how this glass is interconnected with your body cells. For example, a mug falls on your foot. Now your skin there is cracked, but after a few hours, the crack disappears and your foot becomes smooth again. Your organs, bones, and soft tissues are normal. Only the skin has acquired the properties of glass. You can also make your glass skin transparent at will. It allows you to see your muscles. Now that looks scary. You're under constant medical supervision. Almost no one talks to you or shows their faces. You're nervous because there are no windows anywhere. The plants are artificial, and every night, your room gets locked with a magnetic lock. You move very carefully, afraid of breaking off a piece of your skin. The scientists promise they're going to solve this problem. They put you on a stretcher, tie you up, and take you somewhere. The doctor claims he knows how to make you less fragile, but you have to trust him. They bring you to a dark room. The doctor asks you to keep your eyes closed throughout the operation. You look around and see huge stoves. People in gas masks are going to shove you there. You ask them not to do this. You don't mind remaining brittle. The scientists put you in a cast iron chamber. You're screaming. There are flames around you. You close your eyes. It's getting hotter and hotter. The fire envelops you completely. It's like you're inside a volcano, but you don't feel any pain. After a few minutes, the flames disappear. Cold air starts blowing on your body from the walls. The researchers pull you out of the oven. You ask the doctor to untie you. You can do it yourself, he says. You strain your muscles and easily tear the straps. You stand on the floor and feel incredible strength in your body. The doctor says that now you're made of tempered glass. It means you're stronger than concrete and some metals. During the entire day, you're testing your renewed skin. You can easily break down walls and withstand any damage. Fire, arrows, hammers, nothing can crack your skin. At the end of the day, the doctors follow you to your room. At this moment, the alarm goes off. They forgot to close the door and run away to the source of the commotion. You get out of bed and walk into the hallway. The whole building is flashing with red lights. Loud sirens are blaring all over the place. The elevator doors open and several people in gas masks run out. You get to the nearest office and hide there. They run past. You're looking around the room. It seems to be a laboratory. There are ampules, instruments, and other scientific stuff everywhere. There are also countless x-ray pictures on the walls. You find a small flashlight and put it in your pocket. Then, you notice some documents on the table. On the first page, you see your photo. You look through the file, but can't read anything. Instead of letters, there are strange symbols on the page. It looks like some unknown language. Someone grabs you from behind. It's a young girl. She's crying and asking for help. Her tears are dripping on your hands. Scientists come into the office and lead the girl away. Run away from here, she screams before disappearing behind the corner. You look at one of the doctors. What is this place? You ask. Please, go back to your room, the doctor replies politely. 
you leave the office and notice a strange smell. It's your hands. They smell like gasoline. It must be the tears of that girl. Was she crying fuel? You go to bed and decide that tomorrow you'll escape from this terrible place. You're nervous, and at this moment, something happens to your body. You look at your hand and see your reflection. Your skin has turned into a mirror. Oh, great. Another superpower. You reach into your pocket to pull out the flashlight and find a card to the magnetic lock. That girl must have put it in your pocket. She probably stole it from the doctors. Now you just have to find and save her. You work out on a treadmill and ask to visit the bathroom. The doctors are waiting for you behind the door. You wash your hands and look at yourself in the mirror. You have an idea. You switch on your mirror abilities, stand next to the sink, and merge with the bathroom mirror. You're waiting. The doctors, still in their gas masks, burst into the room. They don't notice you. After saying something in an unknown language, they leave. Suddenly, one of them returns. He looks at his reflection in the mirror right into your face. Luckily, he doesn't notice you. In a moment, he goes away. After a while, you also get out and run down the corridor. You hear voices behind you. You turn your skin into a mirror again and hide around the corner. A group of scientists run past. Now you're heading the other way. You run through a long corridor, but see a dead end. Without hesitation, you punch through the wall and find yourself in the main hall. There are a lot of closed rooms with people here. Someone covered in flames is walking inside a fireproof room. You see a guy behind another door. Instead of hair, he has plants growing on his head. There are people with weird superpowers everywhere. You use the magnetic card to open all the doors, but no one leaves their cells. Why did you do it? You don't know yet, asks an old lady with lanterns instead of eyes. In one of the cells, you find the girl who gave you the magnetic card. You ask her to run away with you, but she just looks at you and shakes her head no. At this moment, the alarm goes off again. The doors are closing. You run out of the hall and find yourself in a long, dark corridor. You close the door and break the lock. It's dark here. You turn the flashlight on and direct the beam at your body. It reflects and illuminates the entire corridor like a powerful night lamp. You walk further and notice another light source. It's a window. Finally, you run as fast as possible. You're approaching the small window leading to freedom. Your pursuers break out the door and scream something to you. You can't hear them. You only think about escape. The window is getting closer. The light of the outside world becomes brighter. You clench your fist to break the glass. There are still a few steps left, and you stop. Your eyes fill with horror. Your whole body begins to tremble. What you see outside the window can't fit in your head in any way. You're looking at a huge asteroid belt the lights of an unknown purple planet, the bright searchlights of a space station. You realize that you're not on Earth. You're inside a huge spaceship, very far from home. You may be on the other side of the galaxy. These beings, whatever they are, have taken you from Earth to conduct experiments on you. You're so shocked that you lose consciousness. Darkness. You're finally coming to your senses. You see several people in white protective suits. You don't know where you are and don't remember anything. How do you feel? The doctor asks. 